things teachers never say once they've finished the SATs tests. Oh, I'm absolutely gutted. Can't believe it's over. I don't think I can wait another year. We should do these every every month or so. I'm really going to miss doing all those past papers. What's that? Of course, we've got writing moderation to do over the next few weeks. Yes, get in. Yeah, yeah, all their writing's independent. It's always independent. Yeah, I call them Miss Independent. I'm never there. I'm not even in class. In fact, I'm not even in the school when they're doing the writing. It's that independent. Yeah, I know you can't talk. I've not talked about any of the content on the tests. Yeah, yeah, across my heart, hopes to die. I've not said anything. Oh, just got a text message. All right, yeah. Hey, Miss Burns. Yeah, just Hannah from St. Michael's. Yeah, they said they found the spelling test really hard, especially question two. What's that, children? A treat. What do you mean a treat for finishing your sats? You having a laugh? How ungrateful. Do you know what? There's some children around the world that go to school and never get the chance to do these tests. Think about how lucky you are. I'll tell you what, I'm so proud of the experience we've put them through this week. This is learning that's going to stick with them forever. I'll tell you what, this government, they've got it spot on with these tests. Yeah, yeah. What's that? Do I think they're going to manipulate the scores for their own political agenda? Don't be silly. This government, they, have, they, they, they care so much about the kids. They would never, politicians wouldn't do anything like that. What do you mean I'm going to have to actually educate the children rather than just prepping them for a test? Well, how do you do that? Right, kids, remember, get your own work done over the weekend. No rest for the wicked, eh? Right, I think I'll relax tonight by doing some planning. No, no, I'm all right for a beer. No, I don't want a glass of wine. I've not even had a tough week, to be honest. It's been really chilled. Stress? What stress? Oh, these tests don't mean much. Don't mean anything for the school anyway. I need to read a book to the kids and just enjoy the story. What, not ask them any questions to show their understanding? What's the point in that? What's that? We don't need to teach an isolated spag lesson anymore. But hang on, how are the children ever going to know how to underline a frontal adverbial? Look, look, I'm sure when they read that paper, they're going to be able to see how much progress that child's made. Yeah, he might not get the correct answer, but clearly when, they, when that moderator reads that paper, they're going to know the journey that child's been on. Yeah, the fact that he came into year three in a pram with a dummy in and where we've got him to in year six. They'll see that just from that paper. P-E outside. P-E. What does that stand for again? What do you mean? Am I worried about their behaviour? Hey, listen, my class will be behaved. will be impeccable from now to the end of the year. I'll tell you what, I'm so glad we've got through those sats now. It means I can start writing my reports. That children, you want a party? An end of sats party? What, were those, were those tests not entertaining enough? Listen, if you weren't entertained by those tests, I don't know what will entertain you. You know, I'm so glad it started raining now we finished these tests. Yeah, I know it was so good that it was so sunny while we were doing every single test. I, I, I would have got every question right. 